first start off by saying I'm the only one with hairy legs here. I get so tired of people telling me that I'm too old to be doing the things that I do. The shit is gonna hit the fan at some point in time. I'm Jen Salazar and I am here in Oceanside, California and this is the starting line to not one but two fabulous ultra cycling races. Race Across the West and Race Across America. I kicked off my morning and listened to a panel of some of our women cyclists who are going to be hitting the road tomorrow. I've had this goal to set the women's 50 plus record, or to, to break the women's 50 plus record for 20 years. So. In uh, 2013, I attempted it and had some, some uh, issues with my knee and had to abandon. It's a pure sport. I feel that there is no prize money. There is nothing really other than the feeling of accomplishment. We are all just ordinary girls. You know, we, I work. Um, I, I don't have a family to, to bring up, but uh, I have a full-time job. I'd like to prove to other people that it is possible to go out and train on your bike and do it at the same time as other things. So I can't believe I'm going to say this on a microphone, but I turned 50 in December, okay. and it's the first time I've said it out loud in front of people. <laughs> and I get so tired of people telling me that I'm too old to be doing the things that I do. We're just getting started. If I live to be 80 years old, well, I'm 50, 50 something now, right? I don't want to spend those 30 years getting old. So, so to to have goals, to have to have something to work toward, keeps your your, your body and your mind young. The men's solo bring a variety of riders. I'm wearing um, a few devices on me: uh, an Android phone, a bio harness, um, a um, temperature sensor a pill that I will swallow that will measure core body temperature in an effort to um, enhance my performance. Let me first start off by saying I'm the only one with hairy legs here. So uh, that pretty much sums up my cycling right there. The only pills I have are pain pills. I don't have any temperature sensors. We're kind of a ragtag group of uh, patriots. I like to call us and uh, <clears throat> none of the guys have ever crewed anybody in a bike race before. Um, I've only done one bike race before in my life. Here's what some of our veteran riders had to tell the rookies. The shit is going to hit the fan at some point in time. Well, it's a long day. You're gonna, it's, a, it's a long day. I mean, it's a long wait. You're going to be out there for a week or more. So you got to push, man. You just got to keep pushing. You got to keep moving, whatever it is. And you're here. You got to be, be blessed that, you, that you're in this position, that you can do it. And nobody else can. So just keep moving along. You got to keep moving. Regardless of what it is, man. Just know that it's gonna get bad, it's gonna get over you. Just keep moving. You gotta keep moving. Uh, this race, I mean, if you're not physically in shape, it doesn't matter how mentally prepared you are to do it. You're not gonna get across. Stay on top of your pedals. Going is faster than stopping. <laughs> I'm Jen Salazar, and I'll have more stories from the road as the race across the West and the race across America begins. <laughs>